Oh man! Hey, what's going on campers? Camp Facer here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Today I'm going to show off some new gameplay footage that Gun Interactive just recently showed off in their last uh, video on YouTube. I made a video reacting to their gameplay behind the scenes and all that. You guys got to go back and watch it. It's a long watch, but it's a lot of fun and we dive deep. So again, and if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe and click notifications to also so you don't miss a live stream or video in the future. I thank you guys. Let's get into the video. Extreme ends um, and going falling into like cults and all this kind of stuff. So I quite oh. like her personality. Damn, her kind that's of, brutal uh, kill. Uh, her kind of psychosis, I guess, for lack of a better phrase. So yeah, I quite like Sissy's background. For always is always forever. Cause one is one is one Look inside yourself or your father All is one All is none All is none None is one Another wily, erratic, lanky character like the hitchhiker oh. He's not just doing it because he wants food Right, he's doing oh, it because man. he's sadistic um, He's the closest thing the family has to a real serial killer So those two characters bring a lot of personality It would be just this highly dysfunctional circle of the cook, the hitchhiker, and Leatherface. Oh, oh, oh man! Some pegs, some arm on the table. Um, it felt like it'd be a, a let down to the fans not to have what felt like a real, actual chainsaw. it actually does throttle up and throttle down and you get real rev. So you can run around like, and it's, it's just so tactile and fun to play because you're, you're as you're playing, you're just pressing that throttle and, like, rum, 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 and you actually feel so much like Leatherface. Wow, all right, hold on. Look at that, you guys. It's at night, he missed, he hit a piece of metal, it sparked, and it shot like a reflection. This game is going to be a lot of fun. Wow, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> like, when the hitchhiker gets knocked down here, it's not like he's mad now. Like, in the movie, he would probably just be laughing. Look at the ah, here we go. Even though it's like the, it's kind of quiet and she's almost there, the muse, the, the there's like that ambient sound that starts rumbling and getting louder and louder. That would make me feel like I'm not gonna make it. I can't see behind me. I'm not gonna make it because something's about to happen. Look at the. Ah. In some ways, you then know that character on a much deeper level than if you just tackled one or the other in a vacuum. All right. They're really useful for putting that into Ooh, the design. Oh shit! Hold on. The Was she just playing with a dead body, bones? She trying to get a bone shard? Maybe that's one way of getting bone shards in this game, you guys. You have to pick it off a dead body, and you have to do a little bit of a mini a mini game to get that bone out of there. Let's let's watch that again. They're really useful for putting that into the design and trying to think about the, the personality of who you're trying to create. Um, and this this is wow. going to sound like a bad thing, but background of the character is quite important when it comes to designing. Oh, damn. We wanted to make sure that the player knew why are these characters here? She just killed Nugget the chicken. Julie just killed Nugget. Cool. It's a chicken. <laughs> no, it's not. Butt wagon. That's too small to be a chicken. Um, maybe it's a nugget. Yeah. <laughs> you should eat it. <laughs> I was wondering about this. Let me let's rewind that for a second. I brought this up a long time ago because you guys nugget the chicken 
is going to be on every map. And if you walk by that chicken, it's going to go haywire and alert the family that you're there if it sees you. And I always made a joke like, if I see that chicken, I'm going to kill it. And I didn't know if that was actually a thing or not. But apparently you can. <laughs> I feel bad for Nugget. Let's watch that again. Under the character is quite important when it comes to designing. Oof. But what did she we do? She karate sure chopped the it? Player knew, why are these characters here? Hell yeah. That was pretty cool gameplay. I'm excited about this, you guys. There's a few things I want to touch base on, though. When Sissy is singing that song and she, as she's slashing the victim, that's actually a Charlie Manson song. Because the video that Gunn posted the other day that I did a video on yesterday, they... they talked about how Sissy's backstory, she left the family, she rebelled against the Sawyer family, and she went off on her own, and she eventually met up with the Mansons, and not before she left blood traces, probably at motels from killing people on the way, and the way back, I don't know, but she learned that song and brought it back to the Sawyer family, so that's pretty creepy, that's pretty badass, I like that. And there's something else I wanted to talk about after I made that video, I talked to my friend Josh, and he saw a clip of when Leatherface hits the wall, and the, the, the chainsaw hits the wall, and it creates sparks, and it lights up really quick. He said, this is a good idea. What if, like, you're Leatherface, and you're chasing a victim, and they hide in a dark, dark room behind a corner or something? You can't really see them. Now, Leatherface, he's not going to have a flashlight or something like that on him. What if you use that saw to create sparks to, like, make it glow the room up a little bit to see the victims? I wonder if you could do that in this game. That's a pretty good idea that Josh, like, uh, mentioned to me. Uh, but anyways, that's it for today's video. I want to know what you guys think so far about these new clips and stuff. Uh, leave a comment below. Let's discuss. Again, don't get lazy. Go back and watch my entire video I posted yesterday. It's a long watch. I get it. But it, I dive deep and I talk about all the behind the scenes, what Gunn's talking about. And you get to learn a little bit more about the game, you guys, when Gunn's discussing what they went through and the dedication and authenticity of the game. That's what it's all about. So go back and watch my last video. Two thumbs up, you guys are awesome. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.